Good afternoon guys, this is Weckman764 and welcome to another adventure. Today we are going to be opening Lightning Overdrive. Now, this box was given to me by the folks at Team Aftermath, just like last video um, that I mentioned them and gave them a shout out. I'm going to be uh, putting their stuff right up here. I'm probably going to keep their logo on the screen throughout the entire video because um, I don't get a lot of free sealed boxes. This is my first one. Um, so we're going to do them some justice and we're going to make sure we give them a lot of love throughout this video, guys, because they are showing up to every single card show that I've been to. Um, they've shown up to, they, they, they go to a lot of different events. They do a lot of different things. They, they keep a, uh, Instagram channel active. They keep a Facebook channel active. So there's a lot of things to go check out with those folks over there at Team Aftermath. So let's see what they got, see what they got in store for us here. It is Lightning Overdrive. This has got to be my. I don't know how many. I don't know how many boxes of this I've opened. This is. Uh, I've got to be hitting a, a case at some point. You know what I mean? Like, I've. Uh, I've opened a lot. So what do we? What do we want? What do we? What do we want from? Excuse me. What do we want from today's video here? What are we trying to pull from this? Obviously, there are several really awesome Starlight rares. Uh, so the first Starlight rare. For the channel would just be mind-boggling. It would be in com complete insanity. Um, but outside of that, we could use some uh, some Ruddy Rose Dragon. I think there is a the Black Rose of Starlight. I, I'll remember some of the stuff that we that we that we need when um, when I get closer. I'll remember some of the stuff that we need when I um, when I start seeing the cards pop up. So let's just go right into it here. Okay, so stay sailor or marine. Alright, I'm gonna try to do the card trick because now that I'm doing it for Pokemon, I'm just super duper uh entranced with it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I I, I I don't know. I just really like doing the pack trick. I think a lot of people like the card trick, so Brings a uh, brings a level of professionalism, I think, to the video because it puts the card in the last spot there. But with Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm always going to have to open up the first pack to see where the foil is. Unfortunately, um, unless I can start getting good with, uh... ooh, we did it right. So there we go, we did do it right. Mysterion, the Dragon Crown. I think we actually pulled him last time. We opened up some of these singles on the channel. Maybe not. Maybe so. But he looks really cool, and he is not a bad card. Spellcaster as well. Very nice. We did do the card trick correct. Oh, wait. That's an ultra. We are going to go ahead and sleeve up with these beautiful, beautiful sleeves that we have. While I'm at it, because um, I, I mentioned the, the sleeves that I'm using, uh, we get our sleeves from these folks called Titan Shield. But, um, these are their sleeves, and they come, you know, they're super, they're super, oh, well, if I can, there we go. They're a little bit finer, you know what I mean? It's, there's a lot of grip to them. I really like these sleeves. They're perfect for, you know, they're Japanese-style card sleeves, so you're going to be using those for, for Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I don't know what else takes Japanese card sleeves, um, because Pokemon is actually a little bit wider. Okay. Yeah, you guys are going to start really loving this when we're doing the pack trick. It creates this, uh, <laughs> it creates this, um, this anticipation. Creates build-up. Ooh, Osh, Osh, De I, I'm not, I can't do it today. I can't do the Osh Bagash Damashi guy. The Oddish Damashi. Starry Knight, Cecil, Seal. Okay, Dark Ephant, Ephant. Infant, Ignister. On to the next Lightning Overdrive pack. Is there uh is the pot of extravagance in this one or was that um or was that Vortex? I cannot remember. Hopefully it's this box. And hopefully we pull it. The Yu-Gi-Oh! I kind of just like going across because the cards are smaller. Lura, Luna, the Light Charmer, Lustrous, 
she's not bad, but I think she got a um I think she got a prismatic secret rare print in um in the Mega Tens. I think it was September, maybe August, who knows? Okay. Let's see what we got here. I'm trying to there we go. So I don't like expose any of the cards. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Uh, I don't think this is going for much. The uh, the Grand Radiance, but it just looks a it's 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 a beautiful card. Look at that. Look at that. And hold on, let me try and there you go. That way you guys don't have to look at my look at my busted fingers. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sleeve him up. I seriously do not remember him going for uh, too terribly much, but this he's he's so beautiful. And we 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 love all the all the secret rares that came in this set were were just gorgeous. All right, so we have our first secret rare, and we have a long way to go. So there's going to be one more secret rare in this box uh, potentially, and then uh, I'm not mistaken, I think three ultra rares. But I have been really really wrong on ultra rares before. If you just go watch the synchro sadness to madness, you will uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe you've already watched it. Did you like it? Sadness to Madness. Is it a good series? We're still way early. All right, S Force Edge Razor Super Rare. Not not a bad not a bad pickup. A lot of folks like S Force things. Need to get playing Master Duel again. I I have a real problem with hitting my sleeves. <laughs> oh man, let's put those back there. I got a wild, got a wild. Uh... Screams of the branded. I have not seen this one yet. That's kind of strange. Maybe I have, and I just wasn't paying attention in the past. But um. Still hunting our ratios here. Oh. There, there we go. I think Brandon and Red was in this one, wasn't it? No, Brandon and Red was in um was in the other one. Alright, there's our second ultra rare. Roses rebloom. I pulled him. I have actually pulled him, the guy that's on the box, but uh, I think he's going for a whopping like fifty cent. <laughs> he's a uh, he's an ultra rare, so you know you got to give the rarity some respect. But he doesn't get much. <laughs> All right. Ron and Guardian Sphinx would get a lot. ZS stuff. I forgot this ZS stuff. I've been like passing that stuff this whole time. ZW. Lava. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Gross. X Lord. X Lord, though. Let's go into another pack. War Rock, Pegasus Twin, AI Challenge, D D D D D D's, Axel Construction. Oh, that's the last one. I was gonna do like a, but it it it's, it is the last one. All right, we're a little less, maybe a little more than halfway through this box. What do you guys think so far? AI challenge. Him again. Him again? Dude, did we just did we just get those? Wait. <laughs> that is so scary when that happens. Uh I'm just gonna go straight back to Ida the Sun Magician. She's really nice. She's awesome if you're running some uh running magicians and things. 
very, very useful card. That was so weird, though. We got the same, if I'm not mistaken, commons back to back. I think I bumped my screen again there. I'm trying to watch that. I'm trying to fix my screen when it bumps. But I only catch it in editing, and the rest of the video is shot, like, from a different angle after that. So you're just going to have to deal with it until I get, like, centering on this. You guys would be amazed at, like, my setup. My setup is pretty... It's, uh... It's pretty basic. We'll just say that. <laughs> it's a little more creative, I think, than somebody else's. But I, I just have what I have. You know what I mean? I got to work with what I, what I have. Spriggan's booty, and then Spriggan's brothers. Judgment of the branded scrap raptor, Sun Villian, Thrawn. Thrawn is always popping up, guys. Uh, that's that's kind of a common. <laughs> that's kind of a. Uh, he's a. He's kind of a meme with this set. I think he's actually kind of a meme with Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, but uh, Thrawn is always popping up in Lightning Overdrive. I think we'll actually probably see him again. Trust me, once we start hitting duplicates of supers, Thrawn's probably going to be the guy that's like, Hey, buddy, you thought, it was, you thought it was over, but here I am. Thrawn the... Uh... <laughs> and it's so funny, because it's the... It's, sorry. It's the disciplined angel... The disciplined angel. Well, why does he keep showing up drunk and uninvited? Alright, did I already do the pack trick? We'll find out next time on Weckman. Just kidding, it's right now. Now the thrilling conclusion of... Judgment of Branded. Scrap Raptor. Sun Villian, didn't we just do that again? Ugh, okay. Hey, White Knight of Dogmatica. That is not a bad ultra rare at all. I think this ultra rare is sitting at a nice, like, 4 or $5, maybe 10 I think I saw on TCG somewhere. Can't complain with that. That is a, that is a really awesome looking one as well. Any of these ritual cards, man. Ritual getting a lot of love in this, in this new age of Yu-Gi-Oh!, Okay, so we have one more secret still to pull, and then uh, we have an ultra. And I'm not sure. Again, I'm just winging all this, all this opening and uh, all this uh, opening card stuff. But I do not think a starlight replaces the the place doesn't take the place of a super. And I do not. I, I'm not even sure if the starlight replaces an ultra rare. I think it's just it could be one of the two super, uh, one of the two secret rares. War Rock, Lock Arc, War Rock, Nister, Force, Starry Night, DDD, Hey, Bajin, Bujin, sorry, Bujin. I know him, I've seen him before. He's he's pretty cool. Alright, let's do a box breakdown. Let's we'll see what odd number I landed on today. Let's see what odd number I landed on today. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we landed on 9 today was the odd number. I always get, like, I just don't know what it is. I always just want to break it at an odd number. So, cool. That's that. Nine packs left here. We are still looking for two of our, two of our ratios. Our ratios, if you will. Our Horatios. If this was a Shakespearean comedy of sorts you and the ai starry night there's something down there let's see what's up all right tri tri brigade this is not a bad one either everybody needs tri brigade stuff uh he's he's a he's a pretty fun one here we go Getting down to the final, I, I, I'm, I'm just hoping the way I shuffled the packs that the, uh, the final secret rare will be the last pack. What, what, what do you guys think? It could be this pack. Could be, could be right now. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not fair. I had to do it. I'm gonna go through and just show you guys really quick. It was, it was, uh, it was the Garden Rose Flora. Still, I'm still keeping my eye out for Thrawn, drunk and uninvited.
War Rock, Winto. Okay. That's not that's not horrible. That's not terrible. <laughs> it's not it's not Thrawn. Thrawn's not here. One by one, that's a really good card, I think. Maybe I'm thinking of one for one. AI meet you. Spriggins Brothers. And a Spriggins Merry Maker. Uh, nope. It's bad mojo. It's just, it's just bad mojo. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We'll get back to it. One of these days, I'm gonna, it's gonna have something crazy in it. That's why I'm doing it like that. I'm like, oh man, it doesn't want to open up right because it's not. But one day, and it could be today, it'll have something pretty incredible in it. Judge of the Ice Bear, Spriggan's booty. Get out of here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Everybody needs stuff for Spriggan's. Dark Eye Nightmare, War Rock Dignity. Ooh, -hoo, nice. I have not pulled this one yet. I don't think. Okay, all right. Final ultra rare of the uh, of the video. Whew, golly, look at that art. That is nice. You must control a War Rock monster to activate either of these effects. When a monster uh, your opponent controls activates its effect, negate that effect. Wow, he got a negate. No. Nah. During the uh, battle phase, when your opponent activates a spell or trap or monster effect, negate that effect. This is a really good card. That really had welcome. Welcome to the Weckman team. Let's give him, let's give him to Little Weck to to hold on to there. There's a god awful glare. That glare's not so bad from over there. Okay, so we are down to uh, the last four packs here. The last four packs, and we are still hunting our uh, our last secret rare. There are some boxes that I, I have seen folks on camera open boxes before and only get one secret rare. So we're not going to get you know crazy mad and start you know crying or doing anything crazy if we don't <laughs> if we don't pull our other secret rare here. <laughs> amazement precious park and it is pretty precious the amazement stuff is really cool i want to like i want to check that stuff out it's nice there we go come on out I meet you. Whoa, there he is. Oh, I have not pulled this one yet, I don't think. The Amazement Administer Ar uh, Arlequino. Arle Arlequino. I, I, I don't know. You guys know me with words and spellings and different things like that. I don't think I've seen this guy yet. And he, he is very, very nice. Look at that. He looks like the. He's. You know, he looks like. um. Looks like a greatest show or something like that. <laughs> we got two packs left here. I think they're going to be supers, but uh, like I said, we're always playing the game to see if a super rare will replace a uh, will be replaced with a starlight or something crazy. You know, maybe we got an error error box here. Basil Rose shoot. Supreme Sovereign Serpent. That's not horrible. That's a really good one. Okay, last and final pack of the day. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I want to again. Oop. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've, uh, I want, I want, I want to give a huge shout out again. Just keep shouting out and keep loving those guys over there at Team Aftermath because this has been a lot of fun. Um, obviously, this was just a nice, quick video to do today, right when I got off of work. So uh, I'm not going to do the pack trick. Let's just go straight through. War Rock Spirit, not a bad finish. 
War Rock Spirit's sort of like uh, War Rock Dignity. You know what I mean? They kind of go hand in hand a little bit. Um, so cool. Yep, that's gonna be that's gonna be all for uh, this opening today. You know, just really big. Like if you if you have time, if you love cards, go check those folks out over there on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, I do believe they have like a website as well, like a standalone site. They are traveling all the time to multiple different card shows in uh north carolina it's it's just such a pleasure to interact with these folks so you know just give them a shout out give them any any time and any sort of thing you can there guys because uh this this was all this was all courtesy and thanks to them we got some good stuff i don't i don't know i think maybe i had one of him before i'm not sure but i do not remember at all pulling this guy so that's that's really good those are our those are our secret rares and then here are our four ultra rares all right, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out.